everybody and a big welcome back to the Sport Rotten Beads YouTube channel. My name is Jade for those of you that don't know me and I'm the marketing manager here at Sport Rotten Beads. Julia is currently enjoying a really well deserved holiday so I'm really happy to be here stepping in to show you a few tutorials. Today I'm going to be going through a challenge pack that I've been sent by the lovely ladies over in the shop. So in my pack I've got some really lovely items that I'm going to use to create a lemon inspired bracelet. This has got some beautiful crystal rondelles in which really catch the light so beautifully in this summer sunshine. So let's get started. Okay then guys, so let's get started. So as you can see here, I've got some lovely um, round agate in this lovely frosted crackle effect yellow colour. I've got some beautiful shades of crystal rondelles, 3 by 6 mil, and I've got some lovely little 3 millimeter Preciosa pearls. So to get started, what I've done is I've cut roughly an arm span's length of thread. And I am using Dura thread here. And what I've done is I've attached a needle to either end of my thread, leaving a nice decent sized working tail just so nothing slips off. So to get started, once you've popped those needles on either end of the thread, you need to thread on eight of your little Preciosa pearls over here. Now what this is gonna do is this is gonna act as the loop part of the clasp that we're gonna make just using beads. You can, if you wanted to at this stage, use a lobster clasp, but I find personally it has a bit more of a fluid effect if you use um, just the beads to actually create the clasp itself. So let's keep going. So once you've got those both on, what you want to do next to start off the design is to take one of your yellow agate beads, thread that through the first needle, it doesn't matter which one, and then again, thread that through with the second needle. So what that's gonna do then is that's gonna form a nice little loop with those Preciosa beads, and then just sit above them there nicely. So make sure you've got your threads separated again, so you've got two working sides now. So to start off with, what we're gonna do again is we're gonna pick up a Preciosa pearl on each side of our needle. Okay then, so now you can see what I've done is I've added an additional uh, Preciosa pearl to either side of my working thread. I'm just gonna try and untangle myself now. Oops, there goes a bead. <laughs> it's just one of those days, I think. Okay, so now you've got your clear working side to your left and your right. So what you wanna do is, it's really simple after this point, what you do is you take both your needles, take one of your crystal rondelles and then one after the other, thread it through both so that it sits flush next to both of those beads that we've just added, just the same as we did when we were creating that loop, just like that. And then what we're gonna do next is add another two pearls again One on either side this time, just like before. Pop that down again. And then we're gonna take the alternate shade of our rondelle and once again, bring it through both threads. So as you can see, there'll be a really sweet little cute pattern coming through where you've got the pearls and then the crystal. Now just make sure you're keeping your work flush to keep that tension right. And it can be a little bit, a little bit tricky at first to keep your thread separate, but it gets much easier as you go along. So as you can see, now we've got this loop and we've started off our pattern. Now, at this point, you can really make it come into your own. You can do anything you want pattern-wise. As you can see, I've been doing a, a two crystal, two alternate crystal, but you can really make this design your own. It's so super simple to make some really sweet little bracelets. So what I'm gonna do now is continue this two, two pattern. And occasionally I'm gonna drop in one of my lovely yellow agate beads there. So I'll just skip forward through this bit until we get further down the bracelet. So guys, as you can see, I've been continuing my pattern along with the two pearls, one on each working needle, and then going through 
a crystal or a agate bead using both needles one after the other and then pulling that flush so i'm about halfway through the bracelet length that i require now you may need to slightly adjust this to whatever length that you want for your finished piece but let's keep it going <laughs> helpful to use a couple of different colored nail polishes and paint the top ends of your needles just as a quick tip to make it easier for you to differentiate between your right and left so that you don't get too much in a tangle whilst you're doing your beadwork. So I'm still going, let's keep it moving and we'll get to the end very soon. <laughs> guys so as you approach the end of the length that you want your finished bracelet what you're going to do is finish on the two pearls that you've added as we have done in the previous pattern that we've been creating and then we're gonna what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add the the ball end of the clasp that we've made a loop for on the opposite end of the bracelet so that's this part over here okay so what we're gonna do now really simple and easy way to create your own clasp using beads is we're going to take a yellow agate just as we did before this can be any of your larger beads i'm just doing it just because i think that'll be a nice way to end my pattern that i've used oops i'm getting stuck to other beads there there we go then what you're going to do is add one final pearl of these small preciosa pearls that we've been using pop that down and rather than adding another one as we have done with our other needle what we're going to do th this time around is come back through the design and this is how we're going to start to finish so what I'm going to do now is oops there we go come through both of those beads and then get a good tension on it so that you formed the end bead there and now when you go to finish that these beads here are going to hook through that nicely and keep that close for you so all i'm going to do now is sew back through some of my work and stitch back through some of my beads roughly about halfway down i've obviously got quite a large amount of thread left just to keep any safe if i needed some so what i'm going to do now is stitch back through and then our bracelet is complete so guys, I really hope you enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial on how to make your own bracelet with a clasp. Obviously, you can use whichever colours that you like in your own design. You can really play around with this. It's such a simple way to use up different beads in your stash or to create something really unique and super sparkly if you wanted to maybe even add sorority crystals in there or your favourite gemstones perhaps. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to make your lemon inspired bracelet. I really enjoyed being here today. So if you did enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up below and also subscribe so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. I hope you're all keeping really safe and well and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye guys.